Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Lightmatica, the modern day Scumatica mod in Minecraft 1.16.5. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Lightmatica from downloading it to installing it. All that stuff is all going to be covered in this video. Now, you may have found this video because you're searching for Scumatica, so I want to talk about that real fast. Scumatica is not updated. It is not updated in a very, very long time and there's no chance, I guess I shouldn't say no chance, very, very little, very little chance of it updating to 1.16.5. However, Lightmatica is basically the modern day Schematica mod. It does everything Schematica could do back in the day and does more. It's going to allow you to import schematics in game, take schematics out of the game, basically create schematics and then, you know, move them and send them to people and all that stuff, as well as move schematics in game, build schematics in game, all that Lightmatica can do it. So because of that, we are going to be installing Lightmatica today, not Schematica, but they're basically the same mod. Lightmatica is the modern day version of Schematica. So that's that. Now, as you can see, this is 116.3 here. You're also in the 1.16.5 tutorial, which will be here once this video goes live. First and foremost, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DLOS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Now, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting Lamatica. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here, where once you're here, you just want to scroll down and click on the orange or yellow download light Matica button. Once you click on that, it's going to go ahead and take you off to Curse Forge, where on the right hand side, we want to scroll down until we see a light Matica fabric 116.4. Now you might be asking yourself, 1.16.4, Nick, I want 1.16.5. Well, 1.16.4 mods work in 1.16.5, so you don't have anything to worry about there. Lightmatica is going to work in Minecraft 1.16.5, even though it says 1.16.4 here. I'm going to be showing you all that in this video, but that's why it says that. Now, once you find Lightmatica Fabric 1.16.4 on the right-hand side over here, scroll down, click on this orange download button to the right of it. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and take a few seconds, and then it will go ahead and download in the bottom left. So wait on it. Boom, and now in the bottom left, we will have Lightmatica downloading. Now, as you can see, it says Lightmatica of fabric in the title so we're good to go ahead and click keep to save that now we aren't done yet there's actually a compatibility mod that lightmatica needs and that's going to be the mala lib here which you can find in the description down below the molly lib mod is a library mod as it says that lightmatica requires to run so once we're here let's go ahead and scroll down and click on the download molly lib right there that download button takes you here where again on the right hand side you want to come over here and scroll down until you find molly lib fabric 116.4 as you can see right there it is right at the top under 1.16 go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that and after a few seconds just like like Monica it will download in the bottom left it's 100 safe to keep the file wait for it there it is let's go ahead and click the keep button again molly lib is linked in the description down below just like like Monica was it is going to be the third link down below now last but not least the last thing you have to download is going to be this, which is Fabric itself. It's the mod loader that Lightmatica uses. It does not use Forge, it uses Fabric to run. So Lightmatica uses Fabric, not Forge, and here's the Fabric mod loader. This is the fourth link down below, I believe. It's linked down below. And once you're here, you just want to click on the download installer, universal slash dot jar. And when you click on that, after a few seconds, the download will begin in the bottom left, right like so. It should say fabric dash installer in the title. If it does, you can keep it in the bottom left of your screen. On Mozilla Firefox, you may have to save it in the center of your screen. No worries there, just save it like normal, right? It's 100% safe. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on my desktop, I have Lightmatica, I have the Molly Lim mod, and I have Fabric. If these are on your desktop, no worries, they can be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom bottom left of your screen, click on that little windows icon on the top or bottom left, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, click on that, and then you want to go ahead and take Lightmatica, Molly Lim, basically any other mods that are in here that you want to install and drag and drop them to your desktop, which I know you'll be uninstalling any other mods, but nevertheless you want to install these two mods, drag them to your desktop, including the fabric installer. Now to get started installing schematics, what we want to do is go ahead and actually start with the fabric installer. Today you want to go ahead and right click on it, click on open with. Click on Java, right? As you can see, Java TM plot from SE binary, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or I do have Java. If you do, go ahead and click OK. Maybe it'll work. But if you don't have Java, or if your Java logos or icons don't look like this, like your jar files don't look like my jar files, here's what you need to do. Well, you need to go to the description down below and download this. This is Java for Minecraft mods. Guess what? Minecraft mods, Blackmatica is a Minecraft mod. We need to install this version of Java. If you don't have it already, 
a lot of people do, but nevertheless, go through this simple three-step tutorial to get the correct version of Java for Minecraft. Then finally, you want to go over here and run the jar fix if you're still having issues after you install Java. The jar fix is another quick three-step tutorial that's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java once again. For example, if your files look like zip files or they look like WinRAR files or something like that, you want to come here and run the jar fix and that will fix that for you. Now we minimize our browser, we can go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer here where we want to make sure we select version 1.16.5 and then just go ahead and click on install in the bottom center. And then come up and say Fabric Loader blank installed for 1.16.5 has been successfully installed. Awesome. So we can go ahead and click OK there. And now we can close out of the Fabric installer. It's time to go ahead and get Lightmatica and the Molly Fabric or Molly Lib Mod installed. You can actually delete the Fabric installer from your desktop if you want to. Now to install these, we have to do them the old fashioned way, as I would call it. Basically meaning we can't do them from in game. We actually have to go through the, you know, find our Minecraft mods files and all that stuff and install it that way. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in run, are you in? You have this run app here, so go ahead and click on that. And then in this run app, right like so, you want to type percent sign, app data, percent sign, percent app data, percent, exactly like that, and click OK. That's then going to open up our roaming folder, right like so. And then in our roaming folder, you should have a .minecraft folder. Go ahead and open up your .minecraft folder. And in here, you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have a mods folder, like I don't, I don't have a mods folder, what do you do? Well, no worries. Just right click over here, kind of in this little blank space on the left hand side. And then go ahead and click on new folder. A new folder will appear. Name this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Then to install Lightmatica and the Molly Live mod, just go ahead and drag and drop them from your desktop into this mods folder. Yes, you must install both Lightmatica and Molly Lib into this mods folder for them to work in Minecraft. Now we go ahead and close out of this mods folder. We can delete these two mods from our desktop because we don't need them anymore. And we can open up the Minecraft launcher. So since we're in the Minecraft launcher here, we want to go ahead and make sure we have the fabric loader selected. Now in the bottom left down here, we have this little arrow. We can click on that. And then in here, we should have the fabric loader. And then under that, it should say fabric dash loader 1.16.5. Now, if you don't have fabric loader in here, what do you do? Well, we want to go ahead and click on the installations tab up here at the top. And then we want to go ahead and make sure that all of these are selected, right? We want snapshots, historical, modded, all of those selected. And usually when you do that, it's actually going to make this fabric loader right here appear. And it should again say 1.16.5. If it does, hover over it and click play. But what if you still don't have the fabric loader? Well, in that case, Case, what we want to do is go ahead and click on this plus new button up here on the top left and then we want to create a new profile you can name this whatever you want i'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com well i'm gonna name it that because that is our own grief protected truly incredible minecraft survival and skyblock server we have 1.16.5 grief protected survival on top of that we also have custom skyblock with amazing quest it truly is incredible so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip i can't wait to see you online nevertheless we're going to go ahead and click on this version drop down box here then we're going to select release one or release fabric loader 1.16.5. So we want to click on this release. For me, it's at the top. You may have to scroll down a bit to find it. But nevertheless, right here it is. Go ahead and click on that. I'm also going to change our resolution just because, well, yeah, basically we want our resolution to be this because we're making a video. You don't need to change your resolution. All you need to do is select the fabric loader version here. Now let's go ahead and click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new profile called play.breakdowncraft.com and under it, it does say fabric dash loader 1.16.5. So finally, we can go ahead and hover over that and click on the green play button here. It's going to give you this warning that you're about to play Minecraft and mods. Of course you are. You know you're doing that. So you understand stand, you're good. Go ahead and click play. And now Fabric is going to open up with Lightmatica installed. So pretty simple, pretty easy. There we go. I'm going to go ahead, let this load on up, and I will meet you once we're on the Minecraft main menu. Just a fair warning though, it could take it a second to load up. The first time you load up a mod loader and mods, it's going to take a second because it's generating all sorts of new files and stuff like that. So as you can see, kind of froze there for a second. It was like, was it even opening? And yes, it is. And here it is opening up. I'll meet you once we're on the main menu, which is going to be like instantly. I said instantly, but it actually has frozen right here, right before, you know, kind of completed. And then it completed there. Just wanted to mention that about 30 seconds there, we sat just like it wasn't moving. So don't freak out if that happens. Just let it go through. As you can see in the bottom left, it does say fabric is installed. Unfortunately, with Fabric, there's no mods tab or anything. There's no way for us to know this mod's installed until, of course, we get in game. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a random world here. And then once we're in game, we'll be able to see and use like Matica, like no problem, like with no issues, right? We're going to be able to use it. So it's loading up, all that stuff. Wait for it. Here we are. This was a world edit test world. And as you can see, I kind of went a little crazy. 
I've been known to do that from time to time, but now that we're in game, we can actually use Lightmatica. How do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and zoom back out here, and I'm going to show you back here on the Lightmatica download page. Again, you can find this in the description when you're on our website, right? Click this in the description, come down here, click on the download Lightmatica button, and that will then take you to Lightmatica's download page. Now here you'll be able to see all sorts of different, you know, commands and things like that. So the default hotkey to open up the in-game config is M plus C. So if we come here, we can go ahead and press M and C together. And just like that, the Lightmatica config opens up. You can search the config for different stuff up here at the top. Go through, change all this stuff. You can change the info overlays. You can change the visuals, all that stuff. But one of the things you want to look at here is hotkeys because this is actually how you can do stuff. For example, M plus A as the selection box. You can add a clone selection. You can add all sorts of different keys and different things like that to be able to do. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just go ahead and press M plus A. And I believe that may allow us to... There it is. Yeah, so there is our Lightmatica schematic setup, right? So we can go ahead and we can load schematics. We can do all that stuff. For example, if you click on load schematics, you can see all of these here. You loaded schematics. Now, there isn't any because of that. But if you do want to go ahead and add a schematic here, here's how you can do that. So let's go ahead and go back over to our little Windows icon. Let me minimize our browser here. Come back over to our window, little Windows icon on the top left of our screen. And then go ahead and type in run again. Just like last time, we want to go ahead and type in percent app data percent and hit OK. Just like that, you know, same thing, right? And then we want to go into dot Minecraft. And then now we have this schematics folder. And then in here, you'll be able to have where your schematics are. This is where you can add in Minecraft schematics that you download offline and things like that to use them in game. However, if we go ahead and add in a new folder, we can add test, right? And then if we come up here and I want to leave this menu and then go into load schematics, there is the new test folder, right? Because we created that back here. So you can add all these folders in if you want to and change all that around, but that's where schematics are added. So we want to put this M plus C here. We can come in here to our hotkeys and actually go ahead and figure out how we can actually make a selection in game. It's pretty complicated. There's a lot going on here, but that's okay. You just kind of have to figure it out, right? It takes a second. And luckily on their page here, there is a bunch of different tutorials. This isn't a tutorial on how to use Schematica. That's what this stuff down here is going to be. We're just showing you how to get it, right? That's kind of how that works. But nevertheless, as you can see, there's all this different stuff. And those tutorials can help you out much more than I can. I tried my best, but I am just not good with Schematica. So as you can see, we're going to do replace block. I think this is what we want here, which is the tool um, sort of area. Oh, there was area selection, and I just moved right past it. So I think we go to area selection, and then I need to figure out how to get the tool in game. So one click second, I I'm kind of determined at this point. So now if we go ahead and press M plus T, I think, oh, so it says tool item mode enabled off. Okay, let's go ahead and press M plus T again. Tool item enabled. What is the tool item? That's what I'm running into issues here. And I did check the documentation, and I couldn't figure out exactly what that tool, tool item is. So maybe it's going to be over here. If we go ahead and search for tool, tool item enabled. Ah, it's a stick. Of course it's a stick. So if we come in here and grab ourselves a stick, we should have the selection. Okay, cool. So we go ahead, area selection. I think, let's see, if we click on that and then click over here. I'm having some trouble, everyone, with this mod. I do know it works. I am just horrible with it. I have always been more of a server person and like dealing with server development than a mod person. So yeah, I'm just having trouble here and I do apologize, everyone, for that. But yeah, basically the stick is the tool. And from there, you all can kind of figure it out a little bit. I, I don't I don't know much. I don't know much. And I do apologize for that. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. That is how you can get schematics in Minecraft 1.16.5. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But again, this resource page here is going to be a lot better. And these awesome creators down here have created these more dedicated tutorials are going to be great for showing you how to use the mod. This is just how you get it installed. I've never been great at using mods like this. I'm much more of a world edit person. So there you have it. But nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.